welcome guys so i will create new and pick from the templates use the a4 size i'll open the image i want to use as layers i go to the image i'm using that one for the texture this image here i will scale it simply drag it to increase the size so that it will cover the whole portion of where I'm working the fan ball then I open my coffee now the coffee logo or a picture I want to use is, in, is an SVG format I'll scale it the image was downloaded from Pixabay, it is free to use. All pic images used in these tutorials, the link will be added. So I'll create another one, another layer, call it texture. I'll simply fill it with my background color. You can see the code if you want to do it on your own. I'll pick my bucket fill. I click on the the layer i move it below the coffee i change the mode to burn then i will add my next image i open as layer i'm using this another coffee under there from picture b also i move it down What I did was, I want to copy it. I added alpha to selection. Now I'm copying. So I will anchor the floating layer by clicking that. Now I will grab my transform tool to transform it. To make it feel like it was actually placed on the cup, on the beside the cup. Rather. Okay, this is okay. Like this. I will click transform. Now I will go to my filters, light, light and shadow, drop shadow. As you can see, you can see the cup. The cup has a little bit of shadow too. So I will add shadow to the coffee image I have imported into my document. I will go the radius. I will reduce the opacity a bit. I think the opacity is okay like this. I click OK. I'll simply I'll readjust it. I don't like the way it is coming out. I want it to be close. So I'll readjust it by transforming it. Transform. I think it's okay like this. Zoom out. I go to my text. So I'm going to write my text. Change the font. I change the size. Now I change the font to this font. It's free to use. So I'm writing plus now. I also change the size and the font. I will be using Alex brush. I'll change the color to this color. I 
Now I want to write K for now. Click OK. Change the color to yellow too. I change the font to, to that of Alex. Now add other text at the base right here. I change the color. I'm actually thinking which of the colors I should use, but I, I chose that. Now I'll open as layers again and import my brushes, the brushes I want to use for this big one. I'll be using that one for the coffee. Simply move it up, scale it down by picking the transform to rotate to give it a kind of to give it a kind of feel and cut. Open as layers again. Pick another brush, move it down, open as layers again, I bring another brush, this one that ground brush, I will add the description of where it was downloaded in the, I will add a video, a link description, so you can always check the video description to get the link for the brush. What I did here was, I simply clicked on the on the layer and added alpha to selection. Now I'm changing the color to yellow. I'm going to click on the second one too. I will add alpha to selection. But before that, I'm Changing the color of the foreground. Now we add alpha to selection. Then I will right click. So my bucket to be picked already. Yes, I'll change the color. But the text is not visible. We have to change the color of the text now. So I click on my text icon and and on my I select my text icon and click on my text to change the color. I'm changing it to black. I click OK. As I pick my move to. Now I want to arrange the layers. The layers are not properly arranged. Arranged. That is why we actually name the layers to prevent mistakes. Now my text is visible. I'll pick the move. I'm add, I picked the brush for the coffee. I added alpha to selection as you saw. Then I picked my pocket fill and filled it. I simply transformed it to make it to add a bit of design to the poster we are creating. I'll transform the plus. I'll transform the cave to now I'm transforming the uh, the cave make it bigger or well, I'm, I'm simply enlarging it I'll move it up 
other side transform. I click on my coffee layer, I go to colors, levels, I want to adjust the color, I want to darken it a bit, I think it's too much, I'll reduce, it's too much, I think it's okay right about here, I click OK. I transform my brushes down. I link the two layers, the brush layer and the text layer, in order to do a unified transform that will affect the text too. So that we have to do one for each. I click transform. I'll do the same thing for the lower text. Now I'm going to import my GPS logo into this document. Sorry, I'm importing my my paper. Please watch my Inkscape tutorials on how to create things like this. Like the vapor we are using in this in this poster design. So I will grab my transform tool. I will transform it. Grab my. I go to file. Open as layers. My GPS now. GPS logo now. Again, please watch my Inkscape tutorial to know how to create. Things like this. It was simply created using Inkscape. Inkscape is free, like GIMP. I add alpha to selection by clicking on the layer. So I change the color to the foreground color. I select my bucket view. I click on it. Then shift control A to unselect. I grab my transform tool. I scale it down. Okay. Then my move tool. To move it, to move the position. Yes. I think it's too, it's too wide. I go to smooth and reduce it. Okay, I think it's okay. Now, we've created a coffee poster. You can decide to merge your layers. I decide to merge your layers together. So that is what I'm doing right now. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You can also request for your for a particular design design you want us to talk about in, in our next tutorial. Contact us for your businesses also. Thank you for watching. God bless you.